Wake me, don't you? Kai's podcast. Wake me, don't you? Hit that like Wake button, me, don't you? subscribe, and share. Constant content. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for that round of applause. Thank you for that round of applause. You know what it is, Kind Podcast. It's episode 117. Ain't gonna be too long. <laughs> I know I say that shit every episode, but y'all get to drift. If y'all been watching, every episode is about 20, 30 minutes. I don't be looking to go too far beyond that. But um, yeah. It's Kind's Podcast, episode 117. Uh, it's Friday, October 25th. I uh, hope all y'all had a, is uh, going into the weekend. Hope y'all had a good week. Uh, it's Friday, so yeah, going into the weekend. Um, hope everybody doing good. Hope everybody is heading into the weekend on some positive energy, some good vibes. Uh, yeah, so today's episode, you know, hit you with more updates and shit. Shit that's been happening, shit that's been going on. Uh, yeah, so in today's episode, we're going to touch on uh, Lil Dirt. Got arrested. Lil Durk got arrested. I'm going to touch on that. I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to talk about another Hamas leader has got killed. Um, following after uh, Yahya Sinwar. Drake. Drake had posted some pics. What the spec. What the. And you know what I mean? I'm going to talk about what the the uh, spectators are saying and shit. Um, and I'm going to talk about this gang called Arkham Shadow. Arkham Shadow. Uh, so first and foremost, Lil Durk. Lil Durk got arrested. Uh, got picked up, I guess, yesterday or the day before yesterday. Some within the weekend, within the past day or two. Uh, he got arrested, I think, yesterday, though, or today might even be. Uh, was arrested. Uh, he's facing life, it said, for the involvement, orchestrating a hit when Quando Rondo's cousin got killed. Um, him and three other dudes. Uh, they put it here. Go this day. Talked about it on the news. Uh, check this video out. Chicago rapper Lil Durk is in police custody this morning. And he was allegedly involved in a murder for hire plot. Roseanne is in studio with the very latest here. Roseanne. Oh, good morning. Well, we know him as Little Dirk, but his full name is Dirk Banks, and he was taken into custody in Broward County, Florida, last night. Dirks is charged with murder for hire in the killing of another rapper's cousin. Five other Chicago men were also hit with federal charges involving the same murder for hire plot. The group was allegedly hired to kill the cousin of rapper Quando Rondo back in 2022 in Los Angeles. Now, that plot was allegedly ordered as revenge for the killing of rapper King Vaughn back in 2020. This is not Dirk's first run in with the law either. He faced five felony charges stemming from his alleged connection to a shooting back in 2019. He is now being held without bond. Natalie? So that was him. That was that what they were talking about. Uh, as, as they said, you know what I'm saying? He got arrested um, in connection to retaliation for Vaughn. Uh, they have put, I guess they were saying that it was supposed to be a hit on Quando when Quando Rondo's cousin had got killed. Uh, apparently, uh, the car that was used that they rented was used by OTF credit cards, which is the label, uh, I guess label credit cards with the OTF label. I don't know why you would use those cards in connection to something when you're about to uh, slide on somebody like that. But I don't know. You know what I mean? He got caught up, got arrested. Uh, yeah, I seen a video of Charleston White ran his mouth talking shit about it. Talking about why y'all not laughing at him. Y'all laughed at me when I got arrested and went to jail, blah, blah, blah. You know, doing this trolling shit. But yeah, that's all bad for Lil Durk. He said he facing life in prison uh, for the involvement in an orchestrated hit on the uh, on the cousin of Quando Rondo. Three others, is OTF DD, OTF Vani, and OTF Boogie was the other three guys. That was also arrested in that same connection. In other news, going back to the war, uh, another Hamas leader was killed following the killing of Yahwa Sinwar. Uh, this j just happened, I think, either this morning or sometime like that. Within the past, definitely in the past, like 12 hours, uh, another leader was killed, Mohammed Abu Itiwi. Uh, apparently, he was the guy that was responsible for the October 7th massacre when there was an attack, a terrorist attack out at some music festival. I believe in Israel. They called it a massacre. I think 200 some people was killed or something like that. 
but apparently the guy that they just killed in a strike um his name was muhammad abu itiwi uh has been killed they have got him he was the one responsible for that october 7th massacre uh they talked about it on the news here's uh the israel military i guess uh talking about it check the video out one year ago today on the jewish holiday of simchat torah hamas carried out the brutal october 7th massacre yesterday the idf struck and killed one of the terrorists who invaded israel on that dark day and was directly involved in the murder and abduction of israeli civilians muhammad abu itiwi was a nukba commander in the El Burej Battalion of Hamas's Central Camps Brigade. He has also been employed by UNRWA since July 2022. We have the records to prove it. On October 7th, Muhammad Abu Itiwi commanded the attack on the bomb shelter in Reim, where young people fleeing the Nova Music Festival were taking cover. From this bomb shelter, on the side of the road, Hirsch Goldberg Poland, Alon Ohel, Or Levy, and Ilya Cohen were all taken hostage into Gaza, and many others were murdered. Israel has requested urgent clarifications from senior UN officials and an urgent investigation into the involvement of UNRWA employees in the October 7th massacre. So yeah, as you see, the shit is just brewing. They constantly attacking Hamas. They constantly attacking whoever these little groups are. They constantly getting them with these strikes and shit. It's carrying on. It seems like it's every day. They getting one of these leaders to Hamas or one of these leaders to Hezbollah. Somewhere in the midst, you know, they definitely um, orchestrating these strikes and hitting their targets for show over there. I in hidden Iran's little proxies. Then another news, Drake. Drake had posted this picture right here. Uh posted this picture with his mom. All the money, stacks of money in his hand and shit. Uh and he said uh, this was from his birthday party. His birthday party, 38th birthday party, uh, October 24th. Um and as you see and this is footage from his from that party or whatnot. Uh, apparently, I think at some club nostalgia or something like that. And also, I heard that he gave away like a bunch of free chicken, Dave's Hot Chicken. I think that's somebody he's like affiliated with. He gave away a bunch of free chicken on that day, which is something I guess he does on his birthday every year. He gave a bunch of chicken away to the people, the public. Uh, so this pic uh, and what he said on this pic got spectators, uh, speculators and shit saying that he was addressing his doubters and shit and taking shots. Uh, posted the pic that y'all see right now. And he said... Um, they pictured me dead, but it was just imagination. You know what I'm saying? So people are saying that, oh, he's taking shots at everybody who doubted him and taking shots at the Kendricks and Metro Boomin and Future uh, with that post is what people are saying. Um, I don't know if that's what he's meant really trying to say. I don't know. I don't know if that's what he's trying to say or not. I feel like the shit with Kendrick or, or and it says and people that are saying that he lost to Kendrick I don't know I feel like at this point that shit is dead that shit is over with Kendrick's moving on he's doing his thing he's gonna be at the Super Bowl I'm sure he's focused on rehearsing for that shit trying to get that shit right I'm sure he's not even thinking about a Drake right now yo so check it out if you enjoying this content and you like the way this video going Man, hit that subscribe button. You know what I'm saying? Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video. Make sure you comment on it, what you think about it, and all that shit. And share this shit. Share it. You know what I mean? Hit that share button. Put it on your Facebook. Put it on your Snapchat. And all that shit. You feel me? But yeah, just, just a quick little insert. We can get back to the video. Um, the fact that you still, if this is a shot, I don't know. I'm just saying... This is what speculators are saying. But if it is a shot, I feel like you should definitely move on, my nigga. Like, it's, it's, it's old. It's done to it. Uh, they not like us. It's took fight um, over anything that you was putting out at the time. It didn't. It it, it, it just exceeded everything else. Uh, it just became a, a street anthem, um, a hit all across the, the globe, the states. Everybody's playing it. Everybody's listening to it. And it, it was a definitely a presence of such over the music that you were putting out in responses to Kendrick songs. I mean, yeah, that you were putting out. It's the, the, the Kendrick songs definitely shined over that. They especially they not like us. To me, my opinion that is, you know what I'm saying. And I and I guess also by popular opinion, <laughs> yeah. So I hope it ain't no shot. I hope you over that shit, my nigga. We all know, but Drake is petty as fuck. So it could be a shot. He could be definitely getting at him still over that shit. You know, he still he could still be mad about that shit. You know what I mean? I hope he ain't, though, because, like I said, this shit is old. Like, get over it.
over it, my nigga. Uh, move on, you know, you rich as fuck. You know what I mean? Uh, it's nothing to keep pondering on. Like, what's done is done. It's doing what's did is did type shit. You know what I'm saying? He gamer knows. Uh, so this game right here called Arkham Shadow, I was looking into it uh, because I'm a big fan of Arkham Knight. Arkham, the Arkham series and shit like that, playing as Batman. I think them shits are dope. You know what I mean? Jumping off buildings and shit, gliding down on motherfuckers, beating motherfuckers up, fighting crime and shit. I think it's dope the way they did it, how it's free, open world and shit. You can go about, move about, do whatever you want. You can really be Batman. You know what I'm saying? It's real simulator type shit. I love that shit. So this shit right here, I was kind of excited for, but then my excitement kind of went down when I seen it was a VR game. You know what I'm saying? I don't really do VRs. Uh, I did a VR game one time at David Buster's. It was a Star Wars game. Um, and it's cool, but it's just not for me. Like, I, I would rather have that controller, you know what I'm saying? Doing button sequences, hitting the X button to slash at a nigga type shit, you know? Or hitting X and Y together, mixing combos up with the X and Y button, throwing B in there every so often, using A to jump type shit. It's different when you gotta really slash and, you know, and then sometimes this shit don't read you right. So, you know, and then, like, you don't know what, it wasn't really telling me what to do as far as what how to use the force or whatnot so then you just kind of be in front this you know with the goggles on in front of the screen and you just doing this shit you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And like, I don't know. And then the shit don't be working. So, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes it don't really be picking you up. I don't know. It was cool, but definitely not something I would spend my three, four, five hundred dollars on for them type of goggles and shit that they want. I don't know. I'm just not in the virtual reality shit. Uh, the closest I got to that was Connect. I was on that. Now, when Xbox came out with the Connect, I was definitely on that shit, especially bowling. That was like real life. I was clearing out, you feel me, living room, moving couches to the side and shit. When that shit was active, that bowling shit was lit. I mean, you really had to, you know, you grabbed the ball and shit, and you really had to get that form on, like, you know what I'm saying? And it was the way that you, it tracks your hand, like, you know, you can even spin the ball and all that type of shit. The Wii one was the dopest one, though. The Wii bowling, that shit was lit. To me, that was the dopest one, for sure. As far as, like, bowling tech on as you really doing the shit yeah the wee one was untouchable that's a fucking fact you know what i'm saying uh but that's where they got it from i think the wee was the first to ever put some shit out like that as far as you actually doing those some virtual shit but yeah vr ain't with it though but yeah they said they kept the uh they kept the darkness and the environments of gotham they kept the fighting shit uh as people talking about they, they get tired and shit you know what I'm saying? From fighting and all this type of shit. And, you know, you actually got to move your hands. And, you know, you got to throw the batarang and shit. Put the thing up. Put the trigger. Motherfuckers were saying that they was tired and shit. Sweating and shit from doing that shit. So, apparently they kept the Arkham vibes and shit with that shit. Which sounds pretty dope. And it sounds dope. I think Rocksteady also uh, stuck by it too. Uh, Rocksteady is the people who definitely make Arkham the Arkham series what it is, what we know it to be. They're the ones behind that shit. Um, that's why I feel like Gotham Knights was so trash uh, because dope concept behind the game, but trash though because it just, Rocksteady wasn't involved, so it didn't have that combat system. It didn't have nothing was the same as far as the Arkham that we all know. I didn't like Gotham Knights. I always say maybe I'll get into it at a later date or something like that. But I uninstalled that shit and I ain't thought about it reinstalling it. Uh, and this was it's been a long time. It was a little bit after it came out. I played it a little bit and I was done with that shit real super early. Uh yeah, so apparently the game is out though. It came out October 21st. So if y'all got VRs and shit out there, I guess and you a fan of Arkham, you might want to check that out. Arkham Shadow is what it's called. Yeah, but that's about it I got for today. Times Podcast episode 117. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed this episode. Hope y'all put y'all hope I put y'all up on some shit that y'all did not know about. You know what I'm saying? Uh today we talked about Lil Dirt getting arrested. You feel me? His mug shot circulating everywhere. Um, and who he got arrested with. Uh, we talked about another Hamas leader who got killed, Mohammed Abu Atiwi. Um, he was responsible for the October 7th massacre. Uh, Drake posting pics. If he's taking shots or if he's not taking shots, I don't know. Uh, is he being petty? I don't know. Um, and we talked about this Arkham Shadow, this VR game. You know what I'm saying? So just a few little updates, a few little topics and shit touched on. Hope y'all enjoyed today's episode. It's Friday, so I hope y'all... Like I said, going into this weekend with positive vibes and shit. I hope y'all had a good week. 
Um, I'll see y'all on Monday uh, for episode 118, whatever that's going to be. Depends on whatever happens over the weekend. Um, yeah, it's Comics Podcast, though. Constant motherfucking content. Yeah. You know, stay tuned for this shit. Stay tuned. Keep tuning in. Keep sharing this shit every day, man. Monday through Friday. You know what I mean? I'm going to see y'all. Y'all going to see me. Hopefully, we're going to take this motherfucking logo of mine that you're probably about to see in the credits, and we're going to shine this shit over the United States. You know what I mean? <laughs> like a big-ass moonlight or something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but whatever you're doing, wherever you're at, tell somebody about it. You know? Kind's Podcast. Kind's the motherfucking Kind's. You know, check these credits out. Just like that. Right here. Constant content. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, don't you? You hate me, don't you? Constant content. You hate me, don't you? Kind's motherfucking podcast. You hate me, don't you? You hate me, don't you? Constant Wait, motherfucking me, content. Wait me, don't you? 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 Don't you? Wait me, don't you? Wait me, don't you?